Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff, guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Aha! <laughs> I don't know what happened. You done fucked it up. How did I do that? Jeff, you saw me do absolutely you done, nothing. You done. You're terrific. You done goofed. It's my fault. You done goofed. Amazing. All right, try it now. It's ruined. See, it's because you did the thing. I know you did it. No, I turned it off and no, then no, turned no, it back no. on. It was unplugged. No, it wasn't. Unplugged. It was still plugged. You unplugged it. That's okay. That's, that's going to be the excuse. Sticking to. You're sticking to that, huh? I'm sticking to uh, that because yeah. I didn't click on anything. Listen here, sound and engineer. All you did was all I do turn it, it off. Listen here, look and look, turn it back on. Look, don't make me send and that meme. Solved. Don't make me send that meme. That says the person who solved it is the one who caused the problem. You had one job. All I do is button press. I said everything. You what? Up. And you know what? That's trash because I tested it in front of you mm. too. And you did see it. Yeah. yeah. So you're blaming me. Absolutely. Okay. That's the easiest easiest way. Oh, out. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, shit. So, What's up, man? man? I mean, you, you just know. got out of work. Yeah. Yeah. I rushed home. Um, I wanted to do a live. I know we could have pre recorded yesterday. When I closed and got home, but no, I wanted to do a live, um, get back with you guys. Um, I feel that. And then not everybody knew I was going to start late, but I just, I just, I didn't speed home. You know, I was surprised. The road was empty. Why? Why do you think so? Hey, are we doing fuzzy nuts? Uh, I'm still trying to get This is Sergeant Leader, Sergeant of the 75th Bad Batch Regiment reporting in. How we doing? Ah, there we go. How we doing? Fuzzy nuts. Sergeant Leader. <laughs> no, man. Um, But no, I was just surprised that the road was empty because usually from 5 to 7, it's packed out with cars. But I was able to easily maneuver myself. Uh, I was able easily able to maneuver getting home. Even though I took the 41, the, sh- the tree line to um, Daniels, mm-hmm. there was literally no traffic. I was able to drive straight through. No slow stop, no backup. It's green all the way. Green all the way. So that that was kind of weird to me. So I was trying to figure out, like, what happened. Cause the rapture. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the bad ones that got <laughs> left behind. Ah, huh? bro, sometimes I be wondering about that. Like, why are the roads so empty? Oh, you man. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, sometimes that happens. Like, how would you even feel? Uh, Figure out what I did wrong so I can go. What do you mean, so you can go? It's too late. Like, you didn't get rapture. <laughs> well, remember, you'd have to wait 75 years or until you died or something like that. I know yeah, that sev- 75 God yeah. years. How's it going, Ego Chocolate? How we doing? Ego. Corporal Lidl reporting, reporting in. in. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what's up. But, um, yeah, man. Um, Nah, that, I was just... It was just easier to move her. Like, I know you guys were, like, trying to laugh at me and stuff like that because you're like, oh, I start vacation tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm still busting my ass because, you know, so certain people get on vacation mode. They're like, I don't feel like doing shit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. On vacation mode. Bruh, I downstack the entire. What? entire truck no absolutely not. yeah that nope. was like the entire truck before i went home nope i would have stocked one <laughs> carton of milk <laughs> <laughs> blasphemous nugget yeah. how we doing what's up what's up welcome the reaper welcome, army welcome. bad batch Reg- lieutenant leader of the reaper army bad, bad batch reporting in <laughs> we're just waiting for the we're just waiting for the leader now huh <laughs> yeah man i would have stocked one carton of milk wasted time in the bathroom and then clocked out went home vacation <laughs> for real <laughs> seriously come on oh man, man you, you one of them niggas what absolutely oh absolutely. man absolutely what oh, you know that's man. how it was you know that's how it was back at the company yeah days. yeah you know what i'm saying but then again that was more of a a health issue mm. you know what i'm saying it wasn't by choice like i didn't have a i really didn't have a choice to just like walk away from my job oh yeah because uh I mean, besides bowel movement, but that was about it. 
Yeah, that was tough. It always <laughs> hit me at the same time <laughs> in the morning, like especially doing like a morning shift where you yeah. have to set up and open a case, mm-hmm. and then like immediately after you open, oh man, time to go uh, to the John. You feel me? Yep. So, Maybe tough. like walking in. I hated that, like especially early in the day. Mm-hmm. Or it's like, okay, it's early, I could do what I need to do, but no, there was always that one customer who would just be waiting at the door. It's like, why do you want seafood at 6 a.m.? Like, chill. Private leader shrimp. <laughs> Private leader shrimp, how we doing? Man, shrimp. Oh, yes, man. Sir. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. No, so we were... Jen, Danny, and the other managers were sitting in the in the training room, not training room, the manager's office, and it was uh, Danny, the deli manager, was basically saying, "You know what the crazy thing is? Every time I come in, Jen, Jen seems to want to call me, and he's always in the john. I'm like, ah, so you one of those guys? You get paid to shit. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't shit you for what? free. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. What? It's like." Your bowels don't move until you clock in. Once you clock in, you're like, all right. Oh, yeah, I got to go. Yep, I Absolutely. got to go. I, I don't shit go. for free. Even when you're on your break, you have an hour. Let's, say you, got, let's say you got an hour break. I don't go in the morning. I just wait till I get to work. Yeah, exactly, but that's what I'm saying. I got to clock in. Yeah, you, you'll squeeze your butt cheeks waiting for me. <laughs> you don't care if you're stuck in traffic waiting. You're just going to be like, um, I'm going to get paid to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shitty for free. But that's not the plan, though. You know what I'm saying? It's it seems just that's it, how the body just, reacts. It just comes. So with even your the, bowels is like, I need to get paid a certain amount an hour. <laughs> I wish. You I what? wish it was that fucking easy, right? Like uh, you were mo- you're, you were physically motivated mm-hmm. by like money or some shit like that, R- right? Like your whole body is just like motivated by money, just so you get. Like I'm saying, man, it's crazy because that that was kind of the 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 funny joke because it's like like you said. Every time you went, every time you started working in seafood, and then you had to go to the bathroom. It was and... anywhere. It was anywhere. Yeah. Yo, hey, Jimmy. Hey. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy? How we doing? It was anywhere I went. It does not matter. It's mm-hmm. the same time. Even with this job, yeah. it's the same time every single day. Mm. Every single day. You know what I'm saying? But it's a good thing you do businesses, right? Oh, absolutely. I love hitting up like the medical facilities, bro. The best part is they leave candy or <sighs> everything. They got everything, bars. Bro. It's an experience. Yeah. What? And then they're like, oh, here, you're welcome to it because we, we can see you're working hard. What? Yeah. It's an experience. Especially those like this one place where they do like Botox and plastic surgery uh-huh. and like BBLs and shit like that. Ooh. And uh, like every time I deliver there, they have this super fancy, like futuristic ass restroom. And it has like it even has like a sauna. Does it, it talk like to hot you? Hot towels. Does it talk to you while you? Dude, pee? it's crazy. <laughs> Light up mirror, everything, man. So like, if I know I'm gonna be hitting that business, what the fuck? So w- does it talk to you while you pee? Like when you put your hands to flush the the urinal, no, it's, no, 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 it scans it, your fingerprints and it. says, "Hello, Jeff Nathan. How you doing today? How goes your urination?" <laughs> That's not what the fuck it does. I wouldn't have used the restroom if it did that. You are you already know how I feel about robots, bro. Uh, let me uh let me play you some know soothing. How I feel about let me robots, let me bro. scan your phone and play some soothing music. Ah, there goes the leader. There you go. This is Commander Lito. Commander oh, Leader Army. That's that's what's up. What's up, <laughs> Vic? Welcome, say. welcome. Welcome, Vic. Yeah. So does that mean they're all assembled? The army has assembled. They are here too. Oh, lead a lead. Sexual chocolate. chocolate. How we doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, but um, no, man. So, that, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, it, it, it just like let me scan your phone and listen to what you listen to. That's it. weird. I'm so not gonna a, use it's like, restroom. A so, it's like a soothing pee, no, man. That's you're not like, soothing. You you come that's out the you come out the medical facility and they're like, that's not you soothing. like the restroom, didn't you? No. They're like, yeah. I wouldn't even. Leave. I wouldn't eat. <laughs> I wouldn't have even imagine. No, <laughs> I wouldn't have even whipped it out the moment I heard Siri start talking. But it's a it's a woman's nope. voice. <laughs> so, so it's supposed to be. You one of them? It's you, supposed to be. You gonna soothing. get a Marilyn Monroe bot too? Huh? You one of them? In the garage. Go to the garage. 
I can't look, look at I'm you. I'm just saying. Now nah, imagine you sat down in your toilet, started talking to you, man. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> you what? I'm not gonna imagine because I'm not gonna have a talking toilet. What the fuck? If my toilet talks, it's the it's the basic install like they do. I'm all blowing up the house. <laughs> What are we even talking about? Oh, man. It's, it's, bro, zero tolerance, and I mean it. What are you talking the about? The most extremist form. The extreme prejudice. Zero tolerance with extreme prejudice. Oh, Absolutely. You already know how I feel about robots, man. Oh, man. No, um, the video that you sent me today, I was uh, reading the comments on it, and he's like, let's just, let's not wait and just accept our new lord and overlord and savior <laughs> robo- <That's crazy>. roboticus. <laughs> wait, what was it called again? What was, uh, I don't know. I just, Are you serious? Yeah, dude? I just clicked on the video. Wait, and so you watched a minute and 38 second video? Yeah, because I was watching this robot wash dishes, pick up trash, give that guy an Have apple. Have a conversation. Have a conversation. Give the guy an like apple, there was like a make him coffee. five second delay, but other than that, the, the rotation of the Christopher hand, the movement, the all that stuff like that. That means you got five seconds to run. There you go. Smoke. Yes, the sir. Outlast vid was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We watched it ourselves. Yes, it was sir. actually really, that was good. really good. Hey, keep it up, man. Keep it up. What's your Vic? I had my ass rolling, yep. bro. Yeah. That man. Bro, I've never seen a black guy flip on the bed before. That's hilarious. That was the first time. And then he did it in slow-mo, so it made it worse because you saw everything jiggle. <laughs> you what? <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, Yo, they about to blast you. Oh, it's okay. Boy. It's okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm That's ready. Dumb. I'm ready. That's dumb. They can throw everything they want on me. I got this. Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, there's a delay, so he's going to hear it in a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, how shit. do you, like, no, nah, that's just, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy, because it's made by who? OpenAI, right? Yeah. OpenAI decided to, but you kind of already saw that's where it was going to go, mm-hmm. though. I don't know. You don't have any other opinions on it? Fuzzy Nuts has said, not the garage. I mean, it's code. It's cold. It's it's stone cold, and it's the only place that's not warm. Because if you put it in a warm area, then that means you're saying it has a heart, and it's cold steel, ready to. Um, Are you talking about the one where it's just like an arm? It's it's a table tray that kind of carries you. Carries right, it's that singular it, arm. But yeah, but you have to pull your food out. Like it doesn't it doesn't do it for you. It just gets your order. But other than that, yeah, man, I I. I I definitely see it. It's that's at a bar, <laughs> dude. Like you've seen what it's like because like we've seen the the Optimus ones or those are the twos. Right, right. But those are like the mundane <clears throat> one task. What I'm saying is, are are the are those the ones that they're eventually gonna put in like restaurants and and bars I don't and know. Stuff? because they already yeah. say that waitresses and waiters okay. don't get paid anything. All right. So why not take them out? Okay. Henry Ford built the first car, right? Yep. Okay, do you only see Fords on the road? No. Okay. Whoever builds the first robot isn't going to be the one to... Ford know? and Ferrari. Right. Them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's not just going to be, oh, yeah, Tesla bot mm-hmm. is the one that's going to, you know... It's it's like the movie uh, Robots. Mm-hmm. It's like a bunch of different types of robots. True, true, yeah. <laughs> just, <clears throat> until the one company came out and just took all of them and gave right. everybody one set. One super robot. Yeah, right. yeah I feel you it. You feel me? So, like, that's that's where we're at. Like, you're not going to see these. Henry Ford didn't build the first car. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Jimmy. Who built the first car? Jimmy coming in with that knowledge. Let's go, Jimmy. Educate. Mm-hmm. Educate me. Mm-hmm. But wasn't he one of the first two, or was it built earlier in, like, Europe or something? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong person. No, no, no I'm asking. Oh, Jimmy? Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, man, it's just, like, just even looking at that. Like, I don't know, man. It's, it's not just, I don't know. It's not just, okay, this robot is going to do this job. He built the first four cylinder engine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. he built yeah, the he first. He was more focused first. on the engine than he was the, the actual car. And, <laughs> okay. Then why? Okay. Maybe that's a question I should look into. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do everything. Yeah. Tomorrow. I'll look into that. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got a scholar in the chat. But, uh, yeah, man. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I just look at it and it's just like, it's not just. 
oh, this robot, we're going to put it in bars. It's mm -hmm. like one day you might see this model working at a construction site. Yeah. Then you might see one model serving cocktails. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But they're working in tandem with a Tesla bot or a da da da. Basically, they'll be interacting with each other. Right. See, the crazy thing for me is because I I understand the concept. You will own nothing, but you will be happy. But what does that mean for people? Because if you're slowly replacing them, in like you even the most mundane task ever, it's like okay, what do we do? You understand what I'm saying? Right. Because that because right. eventually, like you said, robots will make drinks. Robots will serve yeah. you food. That right. take the robots will mm -hmm. f uh, fill the shelves with the uh, groceries. Robots mm -hmm. will uh, change the trash. Like, what are we supposed to do? That's what I keep at. Because I always hear, "You are nothing, and you will be happy." What does that mean for us? Okay. The machine will do everything. I don't want to lay down like a vegetable in a yeah, virtual reality. Like, what do you mean? You are... Yeah. I don't want to lay down in a in a virtual reality and do nothing right. all day. To me, that's crazy. You have to do things to be happy. And we can't just be... It can't be leisure all the time. Like No, I can't. Like, does we... that make sense, though? Like, leisure all the time. I mean, I think it's because I'm old school. And I'm used to outside and fresh air. Well, here's the thing, though. And living. But um, it's like um, uh, this kid named Fernando was asking me the question, how do I feel about TikTok? I said, I don't give two shits or a bag of dicks about it because I'm one of the ones that didn't grow up with technology. I'm one of the ones that actually went outside. I know what fresh air smells like. Uh, my attention span is longer. I love to read. I love to interact. I love to learn. It's not like if it doesn't catch my uh, appeal in 10 seconds, I scroll up you see what i'm saying right. so it's like yes probably for the younger generations that'll probably be a, 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 a they'll be okay with vegetable in a virtual reality but for me i can't bless you bless excuse you. me i can't do that i really cannot do that that's that's to me that's weird to just lay there all day like when i watch as cool as shangri-la is when i see them Take an energy drink and then lay there all day. It's fucking nuts. And then they get off, shower, and then go back to sleep. So they're in a constant state of rest unless they go to school. That's weird. What does it smoke like? Vic said, and don't even get me started on you with your GTA 5 dress. <laughs> Everyone can. Vic, this is not a path you want to go down. I will absolutely inferno you, bro. But I roasted him. Why is he roasting you? Is it because I, I don't have hair? I will cook. I will flambe your shit. Mm. Everyone can I get a taste. Flambe no pause. <laughs> your shit. No. Nah, next time you come on the show, I'm not gonna flame you in uh, on live. I'm gonna flame you on the show. You gotta be across from yep, me. Yep. And then I will flame. I will cook you. Yep. I will toast you. Hey, yo, sexual <laughs> chocolate. You what? Uh, Vic is sus. He said, not the GTA 5 dreads. That's, That's tough. tough. What the fuck? Oh, butter bee. Hey. What's, up? <laughs> What's up, Mike? Welcome, welcome, butter bee. Good to have you here. Good to yeah. have you here, brother. No, but the, but do you understand what I'm saying? So when he asked me about that earlier, because he's he's it, th this is his generation, he's younger. He's like personally, I don't like TikTok. It's ruined. Uh, it does not just ruin, but that's his per perspective is what he's telling me. It's made by China. It's ruined a lot of this and that. And I'm like, I don't care about it. I I can live without it. I ain't right. gonna die if it doesn't right. happen. But a lot of these young kids, that's what they do for hours and hours on end. That could be spent. But do you think it's it goes deeper than that? Like, are you looking at a, a I'm like a, how, surface I'm, level? Okay. Yeah, I'm I not. I'm you. not diving into any any. It's for like conspiracies or anything like that, or any deeper thing in it. It's just for me. It's surface level. Like they're voting oh, on they it. Did? I will go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, they're they're voting on it. It's gonna has to go through the house and all that. But I don't think it's gonna go through or anything like that. Um, but 
uh, for me, it's not an issue. And because he's like, oh, yeah, it takes your information. I'm say, I said, sir, as soon as you signed into your smartphone, they took your information. Because he's like, they sold your information. But but that's that's a, something that I knew that he didn't. Because in his mind, he goes I based off it. of what he watches right. on television. Right. And he doesn't go and do it's his... all surface level. Exactly. He doesn't do his due diligence and his research. I didn't dive deep into it. But I'm like, dude, as soon as you signed into your smartphone, they sold your information. <laughs> Vic says... I don't think that's what you want to do, bro. We'll get canceled <laughs> two minutes into life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. No, I feel that. Mm-hmm. I feel that. So, so I um, but ag- again, too, going back to my question, own nothing and be happy. I get that. Yes, universal basic income. Nobody has to work. Everybody can be free to do whatever they want. I get that. But it's like. For well, you got under- millennia. Mm-hmm. All we've done is work, physical labor, physical labor. Men, women, children. Oh, that's all we've done to just sh- completely shit. Unless we're doing a Star Trek and just exploring the universe and let the robots take take Earth and and do whatever they want. And we when we visit, they give us. But drinks. even then, in exploring the universe, you need robots. Of course, I get that. Right to assist us with a new whatever we we, we but i feel like it unshackles us from doing this shit okay i'll give you okay i see what you're saying you understand in the the sense of because it's like we can't think outside the scale of okay homeostasis Mm -hmm. we need to manually work and we are at the 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 mercy of nature of the environment of repetitive mundane tasks of things like that instead of focusing on curing shit we got to make sure but aren't they doing using ai to do that though to find the cure yeah you still need hands though jeff you still need but remember what i was talking about the mundane stuff right because because to us to 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 somebody like me putting groceries on the shelf is mundane. That's a mundane task. That's what I'm saying. Or repetitive and mundane. Task. It can be easily replaced. Mm-hmm. Now you see the when you go to the Sam's Club, there's the uh, machines that don't have drivers. Mm-hmm. They took that away from them. They don't right. need them. You see what I'm saying? Mundane tasks. Mm-hmm. So it's like the basic things that most humans, not exceptional ones that are right. gene right. splicing right. and <laughs> discovering new speeds of rockets, right. like those I get. Those I understand. But it's like. The seventy percent of Americans that do the regular stuff, you see, because even driving, they're taking that away from us and mm-hmm. making it autonomous, which would be easier. Because I would love to sleep while I drive home and not worry about getting a car accident because the computer algorithm calculates how fast we can get home. Traffic wouldn't be backed up. There wouldn't be people slamming on brakes. There wouldn't be people being assholes. We'd all get home at a decent right. amount of time. I get that part, right. but it's like certain things. The mundane. Te- what are we gonna do? See, I, I of course, me. I grew up in a time where I can enjoy outdoors and 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 biking and exercising and all that stuff like that but today it's very difficult for people for these youngins to separate themselves from the internet you see what i'm saying i feel that um you and i are we can separate but also when we come back in it'll only take us what like a couple weeks or a month to learn the new system and then we go and move in with it like this this would be nice if a robot would prepare all this and all we had to do is hit the start button but for me, it's also right. nice to learn how to do it. But that's the thing. Not everyone's willing to just sit back and learn how and to I do some that. shit. And I get that. Because it's like <laughs> learning to do shit that's already been learned. Hold you back from learning new shit we haven't hmm. discovered with or it, learned. With Terminator <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> like if you have a robot that can just. Like prime example, right? It's like transitioning from the abacus to the calculator. Oh, yeah. The click, click, right. click, click. You know what I'm saying? You're manually... Da, da, da. This, mm-hmm. is the, this is the, the operation I use mm-hmm. to... Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. But a calculator, you're not asking a calculator, oh, what are the inner workings of you calculating 2 plus 5 and why you gave me 6? Yeah, that's true. You see because what I'm saying? Because with, cal- with that, you can actually... Because it's already an accepted fact mm-hmm. that... Two plus five is seven. Mm-hmm. Did I say six? 
2 plus 5 is 6. No, you said 2 plus 5 is 2. Oh, okay, whatever. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm half autopilot. In, in just right reality, now. it I'm is. Like half autopilot right now. What the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. So it's just like, when you cut out all that extra shit, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like after teaching certain concepts for centuries at a certain point, like, yeah. it should just be, okay, that's automatic. We don't need to learn or understand why two plus two equals four and, and you know what i think too it uh, i am biased because it's my mindset because that's how i was raised that's how i grew up so okay. um if i was born now growing up later in like 20 40 20 50 then i would see this as part of regular life but because i'm not hey it's not the all right, let me go through this. Let's, let's yeah, catch up. Let's get... that. All right, let's, we'll, we'll read the right, chats right, and then we'll jump right. right back into it. Butterbean says, I give it five to ten years. It's going to be iRobot in this month. Terminator Genesis. Smoke says, check your phone, sir. Mm. Uh, Jimmy says, I think AI will help most people, especially in higher jobs. Um, Smoke says, 2035. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, Butterbean, hold the line as many... As an army of bots comes to peel our shit back. <laughs> Snot dog Jeff is reinventing math. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. No, you. Oh, me? Yes, you. All right, so so Vic says, if you don't get your bald black Mr. Clean Steve Urko glasses wearing Willy Wonka blueberry chick built, I brought my scalp to remember the good times head ass on somewhere. <laughs> what does that even mean? You what? What? Vic retarded. Where he sent me that thing, bro? No, he told me. He oh, told me. He sent it, it to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two, two, two. Man. Oh man. But yeah, man. I don't know. I just think. Okay. Yeah. This. Oh, so let's continue where I was at. So basically, what I'm saying is, I'm biased because I grew up in a time where I there was no tech, there was technology, but it wasn't as advanced as it is now. Bro went off. Holy shit, my dude. <laughs> um, so I am biased. So that's why I said if I were to, um, if I were born now, and then by the time I hit uh, 20, 30 years old in the year 2050, mm-hmm. um, it would be normal. So just like the example the other day, they're inventing that, that chip that you can implant. Oh, that weird tattoo thing. That weird tattoo thing that will administer medicine, that will let you scan into anything, and it's literally a tattoo with with um, micro microchips in it. Mm-hmm. So it literally will know your location at all times. It'll do all that stuff like that, and that's, that's kind of the direction that they're heading in. That would be something normal because that's something that I would have grown up in. That's something I would have grown up in in that time. But for me, because I'm such an, an old head with no technology, I had to do everything myself. And now everything is becoming simpler. I'm not rejecting it. It is going to be easier. It is going to it is going to help humanity um, jump forward in, in, in leaps and bounds. But it's like against it, like the mundane jobs. So unless everybody becomes rich, what are they going to do? That's 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 my main question. It's like, what is everybody going to do? Oh, shit. All right. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. Read it. Not sure if it's been discussed already, but... Uh, okay, this is from Snot Dog. Okay. Um, not sure if it's been discussed already, but the amount of work we do is a never is a newer concept mm-hmm. before the Industrial Revolution with its 16-hour days and shit. People had more time for leisure and hobbies. I believe that. That's actually facts. Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, before the Industrial Revolution. but Because f- it was during that time... The nine to five was created. Mm-hmm. The whole three meals a day mm-hmm. was created, um, and even when the nine to five was created, mm-hmm. it it it, it kind of goes into that whole the first reset, mm-hmm. you, know, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And I agree, and I agree with her. But the thing is, uh, like I said again, this generation was born in technology, so it's like when you say go play outside, they take their phone with them. When we went to play outside, there was no phones. You see what I'm saying? So it's like. Uh, yes, we'll have more time for leisure and outdoors and stuff like that. But what does that? But mean? what is playing outside today, Jeff? Being on your phone. No, 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 no. If you were to, I look at it conceptualize as playing outside. Basketball, uh, hanging out with friends, going out to eat. There's no third space, Jeff. Those no longer exist. Shopping malls are closing. No, I'm talking about shopping malls. No, no, like oh, you're you, what you're describing example. is a third place. Okay. 
what you're describing is a third place where people gather, commune, you know, socialize, da da da. Um, okay, so Jimmy says, Jeff, would you rather go back in time and pull weed with your hands instead of use a lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, well, technically they had a no. You know, after well, the was created, it created a whole army of jobs. I for mean, people. they had sickles before um, lawnmowers. So if you're talking about the time of the sickle, I mean, it was, it was still easy to cut grass. I'm not saying. I mean, that was a physical <laughs> task. Slap out says it's bugs outside, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, man. oh man! Oh man! Mike's like. Hell no, nah, nigga. I ain't going outside. <laughs> not without my phone, bro. Snot Dog says using scissors to cut grass. Not scissors. That would suck, man. What? Nah, uh, oh, man. That's how you got to think about it, man. No. I, I, like I said, I get it. But remember, my question is, I'm not saying, remember, I'm not, I'm not, um... I know, I'm not saying you're choosing a position. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I'm not in a position, and I like these, and I like these, all, uh, these hypotheticals that they're giving, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm kind of basically saying. That it's like, what are we going to do once all that is up and running? Because the, the there's going to be new jobs. What is it that we, I we think, don't know? That's, that's what I want to know. <laughs> we don't know. I okay, hate prime example. What are we doing, Jeff? Are we not broadcasting? Yes. Twenty years ago, would you say we'd be broadcasting in our? No, we'd, okay. we'd have to have a it's professional. It's that easy. It's we'd, that easy. We'd have to have a professional it's studio. It's that easy. There you go. Yeah. Take that and run with it uh -huh. in every sector, in every facet of life. You see what I'm saying? In every facet of life. But what's the next evolution of this, though? I can't tell you. So we just have to wait and exactly. see. Exactly. <laughs> I know that's dumb. I Jesus Christ! Dumb. <laughs> right? Um, you could look at you could look at you know economists uh -huh. and futurists and shit like that, and just kind of look at manufacturing and seeing where manufacturing is going, seeing uh, uh, what sectors are really booming. Mm -hmm. You know, da da da. Mm -hmm. But like, ultimately, you don't know what product is going to come out of this. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? You don't know what type of job description is going to come out of this. <laughs> Even That's what it holy crap! All right, they're going crazy right now. Uh, all, right, all right, um, do do do. The... Jimmy says not nah, before that. Butterbean says no, nah, that's real. Sh Jeff, I need that sh fam, fam, but I ain't glued to it like half of these people though. Uh, Vic says, Smoke says, would have us out there singing slave songs while cutting weeds with scissors. <laughs> Sada says you don't need a scythe or nothing to cut grass when you got cows and goats, bro. Yeah, but uh, Damn, yeah, that's, that's true because they can cut the field and horses. Well, because another example, I can give you a perfect example because um, you know me. I've worked around college students. I've worked ar uh, at every store that I've been been through, and it's like when I'm using my phone to scan for items, and then let's say I leave it on the desk in the back room. Then there, um, and the reason why I know because my watch is connected to it. So when it vibrates, it's like your phone is disconnected, and I'm all right. But when somebody younger leaves their phone, have you seen my phone? Where's my phone? Can you call my phone, please? Like they have a panic attack because it's like <laughs> that phone is a drug and they need it. If <laughs> they don't need to look at on, you know. well, that's the thing, Jeff. All right, let me put this in perspective. Go ahead. Everything in your life is on that phone. True. All right. You lose that phone, you're essentially losing identification, sensitive documents, images, audio, video. You know what I'm saying? Like the key to your bank, you know, your crypto accounts. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like you can't ground yourself in the actual like like I don't know how to say this. Cuz that's the thing when it comes to mundane and repetitive tasks. Mm -hmm. It doesn't because We've you done it so much, right? You don't think of a better way to do it. To do it, I got you. Like you can't get out that loop, right? I got you. You can't get out that loop because you've seen. Okay, it works this way. I've made it as efficient as possible. This mm -hmm. is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like scrapping it and thinking of an entirely new system. It's like when gotcha. I explained internet money to you. Yes. 
You see what I'm saying? The now first time. The right. first time, yeah. Right. And then I ignored it. But then um, I did my research. I learned the information, um, found a mentor, started reading books, got more understanding, clarity of what it was. And then I'm like, all right, now it's time to invest. I understand what internet money is now. And just like you said, people that went from that stone money to the gold and silver. Yeah, and, fucking and shekels. and she Yeah, and all know? that stuff like that. And, and then they, 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 they went to... Paper. The best form of currency, which was the actual gold and silver itself. Exactly. And, and then someone was like, hey, guys, guess what? We're going to trade you this piece of paper and say it's worth the same amount of this gold. Mm. Yes, because, you know, it's safer instead of carrying like $100 of gold on you. You could just have a piece of paper that says yeah. this is worth $100 of gold. But imagine how hard it was to convince people, mm -hmm. you know, to go from trading actual like gold and silver and copper and all that and tin to hey here's a representation of what the value actually actually is you see what i'm saying yeah what's not dog said too is that like some people some teslas unlock with phones yes and that's why tesla's been changing that because if you lose your phone then you don't have access to the car now they're starting to try to use facial recognition so as soon as you walk up to your car or your fingerprint mm -hmm. it'll unlock the car unlock door the car door yes. biometrics yes biometrics you know what I'm saying? But, like, even then now, like, that can be, like, that's off topic, but, like, it could be replicated, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. No, I, I yeah. get that. I get that. And, and, and uh, again, too, um, <laughs> what? Sexual Chocolate says, all of us in the chat watching Bean and Smoke go back and forth, like, <laughs> Bean will get sacrificed. <laughs> wolf, wolf, dog. wolf, wolf, bark. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, but um, like like I was saying, like it's it's not like I'm trying to uh, again again go against the status quo because I understand once once you move forward, you continue. There's no stopping it. The Pandora's box is back. open. Right. Yeah, Pandora's box is open. Um, and of course, um, remembering the nostalgic is is fun, but living it again is not something that it's I would not want, something you want to do. That again. I want to do. Yeah. For me, for me, the the only worry that I have is what are we gonna do? And the thing is, it's unknown, so we have to wait and figure out what's going to happen. Because, again, like you said, no one was ever doing this in their home. They, were, they had to rent a professional studio, pay five to $600 an hour, get a whole team, get production, all that stuff like that. And now we're doing it in our home um, and something that we learned. But it's like it's very simple. Like, even anyway. up until this point, it's like your team can stay small because you have all these ai technology yes yeah now, assist, like the, the like the ones that are making technology. like right. the ones that are making clips for you now you don't right. even, you no longer have to sit down for hours dissect your video you'll have your video dissected in 15 minutes and then after that you can choose the best in um engagement portion of it and then just upload it and then go from there so the seo can pick it up in right. the system you so I, I i get it i you feel tr me? trust me man I it's get it. just I know, because I feel the same way too, Joe. Yeah, like because every day it's just like I, I get it. It's a nice quote to say, "You own uh, nothing, you'll be happy." But a lot of people really don't know what that means. No one knows what that means. But that's what I'm saying, and it's like people keep repeating it over well, and over. Well, then again, when you own nothing, you actually are happy. That's true, because you no longer have you to don't, pay for anything. Right? You don't own debt. You don't own and anything. Then, you and you, you don't have to own any worry about bills. And that's why I keep going back to Star Trek because they never paid for anything. They didn't pay for anything. They just lived in places. Right. And 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 like, uh, hey, I'm moving. Food was materialized for them every right. day. Electricity was <laughs> unlimited. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. No, that sounds like that sounds make believe as fuck. Though. Yeah, that, it, that's what I'm saying. That's why I like Star Trek because they were they were there. They li that was literally the epitome of you won't own nothing and you will be, be happy. The right. only thing you had to do, you didn't even have to pay for college. All you had to do was study, pass the exams, then become part of the Star Trek crew or whatever what did the blasphemous nugget says no, it's not oh snot dog says i feel like you see the invention of modern phones as a bad thing uh blasphemous nugget says i say we need a hard reset smoke says i agree i mean the hard reset is coming in no i don't look at technology as a bad thing it's just um yeah no owning property in star trek too like you own nothing like there's yeah. no what's the need to own property when 
everything is infinitely available. Infinite, yeah, and you're exploring the universe. You know what I'm and saying? All this, yeah. Why do I care if I own an acre on the moon <laughs> when I can go to fucking Quadrant 9 and the fucking <laughs> Quasar you know, system? Like, I, like, if we're... Ca- I think that's what it is. I feel like it's to move away from the, the need for materialistic things. Mm-hmm. Because resources are so limited and life is so short, yeah. we vie for as much resource and status and power mm-hmm. and comfortability in life as we can as we can before we before die. we die yeah but what happens when you get rid of aging what happens when you get rid of sickness what happens when you get rid of jobs you start spreading throughout the universe like you know cancer. what i'm saying like what is the need to accrue all of this shit there isn't any and that's why the now i will understand you own nothing and be happy and to go back to uh, Snot Dog's uh, comment, no, I am not against uh, moving forward with technology. It's just like technology has crippled some people in the sense of, yes, I get everything is on there, but it's like I can't do anything without it. Like they all, the, the stupid example people always use is, well, if the Internet crashed tomorrow, not saying it will, but with the Internet crashed tomorrow and the half the people that use the GPS are going to be like, what is a map? Where do I get one? How do you read it? All that stuff like that. Like even the weather. Every time you look at your 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 phone, it says, "Oh, it's gonna rain today." Jeff gets his water resistant jacket. He goes out. It's hot as fuck, mm-hmm. or it's cold, or it doesn't. It. All right, now question. Okay, go. With all the knowledge that you understand, where did you acquire this knowledge? The internet. All right. But I'm, I'm, I gave you an, a hypothetical. No, no, no. I understand. Yes. But if you can acquire this knowledge from the internet, mm-hmm. what makes you say? There are a plethora of people out there who don't like because here's the thing with or without the Internet, humanity is going to do what humanity does. Of course. Yes. You see what I'm it's saying? just retraining them to learn how to do it again because we've simpli- That's easy. simplified it. That's easy. Yeah. Because now even the, the concept of just E equals MC squared is no longer this grand epiphany it's not that it was a hundred yeah. years ago mm-hmm. as it is now it's just common sense yeah you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. so even if the internet were to go down today building off of that basic fact they can slowly get you just can, like uh right. dr., dr stone right mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying like it, the the scenario you're describing is like if there was a mass extinction event and even in that case we'll it's like survive. the 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 collective knowledge of humanity today mm-hmm. is 30 fold what it was before the internet before the internet so regardless if the internet falls you still have people who understand how to build a uh, set up uh, communication towers understand frequencies understand how to you know build and make radios f- form technology for, like you know you understand what i'm saying forage like you know like sc- scrap through garbage rebuild shit like it's yeah. not it's not a complete you know like abandonment of anything that's analog and even the idea of analog is making a return in itself you know what i'm saying like analog computing but in a different way uh just to follow up with snot dog because she's like uh in star trek you can't you don't own anything and then she followed up by saying but could you um couldn't whoever in charge just say you can't live in here anymore i mean technically like they said they'll give you a, a sector and and a, and a place to live um also it all depends on your rank um and what crew you're part of but other than that no nah, i don't think they're gonna do that to people because again everything is not owned by somebody you're not paying somebody to live someplace like it is what it is, but um. I feel like, are you okay? So show me. Where, where's the question? Oh no, no. She she asked the question. She's like, um, she basically said, "Is there no owning property in Star Trek?" LOL. And then she followed up by saying, and then we we responded to that question, and then we followed up by saying, "But, but could whoever uh, in charge just, just say, say you can't live here anymore?" No, no, no. Because this, you own nothing. You'd be happy. Nobody owns anything. Yeah. It's just built so you can live in. Yeah. And and the case is like you could always just move. You could always be free to move. You have that freedom of movement. Like imagine, right? Like you're let's say you're renting and your landlord says you need to leave. Mm-hmm. And now you need to, you know, 
collect your things, think about your finances. How much is it going to cost to move? Mm -hmm. Is this going to impact your life? Am I going to make enough money doing my job? Mm -hmm. And how am I going to find time to move out of this place? Da da da. If you own nothing and you don't work, and then someone says leave, you could literally just leave. Leave. No baggage, no nothing. No baggage, no nothing. Uh, what did the uh, give me? But, um. Snap Dog says, I need an episode where y'all read Industrial Society and its future and give you a review. Where y'all read Industrial Society and its future <laughs> and give you a review. Oh, there's so many. Man. Do you have any recommendations? Uh, what about Jimmy? What does Jimmy say? Jimmy says, I feel like there has to be a massive protocols for all internet companies. If the internet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's bigger than as simple as. The internet goes up. Yeah. A, a, a level extinction event. Right. The sun would have to go full tweak, like, if something like that was mm. to happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're just having an all-out war in the chat right now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone shall get peeled. I'm dead. I'm dead. <clears throat> Yeah, man, but what did you say? Um, oh, missed my comment. Blah, 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 yeah, uh, every episode, the Jeffs get closer and closer to Ted Kaysen, Kaczynski's theories. Is that what that is? That how you say that? Kaczynski? Ted Kaczynski? Kaczyns, Kaczynski? Kaczynskis? Kaczynskis. I feel like that's how you say that. Ted Kaczynskis. Can you? Who is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah can yeah. you elaborate on that? Let me Google that real quick. Let me Google that. But yeah, man. Um, that's just how I feel in, in terms of just like. There's nothing I can ultimately do. I think my yeah, th and and that's and I think that's where where my my idea and thought came from is is like what is that direction that we're going? And I understand that we're not gonna know and all that stuff like that. But it's like. Cause what you're saying for me, that's the, <laughs> who? I don't know if I could say this on here, but is there like a PG version of, of how to say it? He's the man that make things go boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got okay, you. But he was a domestic terrorist. Though. <clears throat> I got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, and a mathematics prodigy. But abandoned his academic career in 1969 to pursue a primitive lifestyle. Is that where we're going, Jeff? I think so. We'll go to the woods. <laughs> I want to go live in the woods. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh man. Uh, Kaczynski. Okay. Kaczynski. Kaczynski. Oh man. Explosions. I feel it. I feel it. Sensational. Ah. Uh, no, the other one. You what? The, the explosion. The other button. boom? No. That's the... Bombastic. That's not an explosion? No, though? that's a bombastic side A. That's a fucking explosion. Bro, we ain't gonna start a new argument. You lost, all right? It's not... A, it's a bombastic side A. Okay? Okay, sir? We know we no do that here. Okay, Jeff. All right, brother. Um, <clears throat> dead, sir, I'm gonna send you a link. I want you to check it out. Me no black. Me no black. I'm Dominican. Me no black. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. That's so. That that's kind of my thing. Um, just just to stem from from the direction that we were going. Like I said, I just want to understand what it is because again, I under I know where we already know where all these grocery companies are going. They're getting autonomous driving cars, uh, trucks. So that's gonna take it away from the thing. They're getting loading machines that can easily put everything on there. That will take five minutes compared to two to three hours. So I I get the direction we're going, but it's like. The people that are so used to working, because you got to understand, the X's are going to become the boomers, so they're going to be the old the old people while we're the X's, while the millennials are going to become the X's. So it's like the X's are going to be the ones that are going to be in the Congress until all these boomers are gone. Or no, they're not. They don't have any influence. They're the forgotten generation. None yeah, of their people sure. are in power. What are we even talking about? You probably find like I'm a trying to give them credit, just sparsed you know? out of in in I'm actual politics, but most of it is just like. What are we even I'm talking trying, about, dude? I'm trying to give him credit. Yeah. Oh, nah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
That's tough. So, it, 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 so again, that I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand like the direction we are going and what will we do when all the mundane jobs, not the ones that will change the world, but the mundane jobs that keep society going gets replaced by everything because again even in the film i robot they didn't explain that people just were walking around with robots you didn't you didn't, you didn't see them work but they were moving <laughs> so that's why i was confusing they still had nice cars police were still it, police are going to be police yes police right? were still um um useful in that time because they still haven't re replaced the police force with uh robots. robots but you never do that that's the dumbest thing you could ever but do. that's what they always do we've seen robocop so we've seen robocop we've seen i, I watched super 8 on netflix they also replace the police uh well they still had humans but they had the robots going and do that i said depressing dude that's where they're all lost wait what okay all right i'm about to get sucked into whatever's happening in the comments um but uh <clears throat> which we call it okay where, where'd you leave off on again no, no no like uh like um the mundane jobs like i was talking about like the police they haven't replaced them because like i was giving an example of irobot like even irobot we didn't even know what they did mm -hmm. like they should they showed you the important people like the police officers the scientists that were creating the robots or changing the world right but they never like even the the, the factory that was building the robots didn't have people in them um there was one person in there, but it was just to turn on and off the lights. Like that was his only job. So it's like, um, what in when we were on the streets, like the, his even. His, I think that was a failure on part of the movie. The movie, yeah, because right. even in even in the even out in the streets, they're all work, walking with the robots. Right. But what were they doing? And then his grandma, I, I guess she was, I guess she was old, but she was uh, even the robot was baking and cooking for her. So it's like. What do you do? Yeah, that's like true. we forget how to find. Like I would, it's like um jumper where he forgot to how to open the door <laughs> because he all he used was his powers his entire yep. life. Yeah. So he's like, oh, you have a class this type. So Samuel Jackson's like, you have a class this type door and you don't even know how to open it. How long have you been jumping, son? I, don't forget the most mundane things, which is what the the it's essentially going to do, like starting a fire or um tying your own shoes are they going to be auto tie shoes like a uh, back to the future or <laughs> are we going to continue but that's the thing like i feel like we shouldn't define ourselves by doing mundane shit i get it but like most of the world's like, shit that we do is saying? mundane okay so why don't we just stop you and, know what I'm saying? And, and do what? And, and I just do whatever what happens <laughs> next. Like I don't understand. When the internet dropped, what did you do? You fucking used uh, it. Shit. When touchscreen phones were a thing, what did you do? You just picked it up and you just knew what to do. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Fuck. If it if humans build something, humans are gonna know how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Like what you're describing to me is like some alien species just drops this fucking hypercube. And it's like, figure it out. No, that's not what's happening. We're the ones creating this. Of course, we're going to understand what jobs are going to come out of it. But wasn't like that. Wasn't that. We we have forward thinkers, Jeff. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to tell you. We have, like you said, there are people who are famous and stupid. Yeah. Not because yeah. they understand the technology, but because they understand, like, this is something that you can use. What happened? Okay, ever played Detroit? Uh, Snot Dog says, ever played Detroit Become Human? Nah. Butterbean says, good ass game. Snot Dog says, I like Hank and Connor's dynamic. No, I, I, I haven't played that. I haven't played that game, but I heard it was really good. I know Is that only I, like Xbox? No, it, I know it's free. On, no, it's PlayStation Plus. PlayStation. Is it only on PlayStation? It's only for PlayStation. I think it's only for PlayStation. No, it's not. It's for all the platforms. I thought it was. Um, but I think it's free on PlayStation Plus. Is this the same motherfuckers who made uh, Heavy Rain? Yes, yes. And then what's the other one? Uh, I don't know, but it has that chicken. No, Heavy Rain and then the other one. Yeah, the one. with the powers, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I just don't know the name. With the powers? They use the same chick's model face for Heavy Rain and, and, and the other one. I know what you're talking about. The one from Juno. And oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, what it means is no PS only. Okay. Oh, so it is PlayStation. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. check it out. So it's a, yeah, it's, I think it's it's still on um 
I think it's still on the the PlayStation Store. I don't know. I just think it just makes life safer for people. No, I, and you're taking pe- people away yeah, from danger. It. You take. I I don't know, man. Well, yeah, like you said, like the movie Surrogate, it took away people right. from danger until they We're started always dying. Complaining about we don't have time to do anything every day. We all come home. Oh man, I'm exhausted from working all fucking day. I don't have time for my friends. I don't have time yeah. for my family. But this is what we want. It's we like we want to be punished. It's like a it's like um it's like a situation where we're like, "Oh, I don't have time to do this, but when I have time, I don't do it." Right, cuz you're reclaiming your time. Imagine once we have all the time in the world. And then we can you're all collectively know what to do first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We yeah. will all collectively be like, "I don't want to do shit." Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to stay inside. You're going to have like a decade of people not leaving their house. Mm-hmm. And then we're all going to get tired of doing the same shit. And then we're going to be like, "Hey, Let's go out and do something. Think of the know. renaissance. Think of, you're right. Society was so prosperous, bitches just sat around thinking, saying, I think, therefore I am, am. motherfucker. Yes! Yes! What the hell? She thought, therefore, that she was. Therefore, motherfuckers was philosophers. They was getting yeah. flewed out. They was getting flewed out to France, bro. No, you're right. You're right. Getting dollars rained on them to fucking think. To think about shit. No, to think right. thoughts, bro. Mm. Come on, man. This might open up another age of renaissance, bro. Yeah, yeah. And what it, is the ideas, meaning of... Right. Ideas will flourish and all that right. stuff like that. Once once hum, hu, humanity loses their meaning uh-huh. of work, the, 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 the thing that gives them meaning, which uh-huh. is working, uh-huh. boom. Now we got to think of a, no, a new way of philosophy. Gotcha. We have, to, we have to rethink human philosophy all over again. Because it's like now you live in a world where Everything that's defined you for the past thousands of years is now been passed on to that responsibility has now been passed on to, to the next generation. another thing, another entity. Mm-hmm. Now the robots will be humaning. What are the humans going to be doing? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. If that's the simplest way I could put it. What did the uh, snot dog say? Um, do do do. Uh, Snot Dog said they had enough and were satisfied. So when job was done, they kept innovating and theorizing. Yep. I is. I is. Yep. You what? That's what's up, man. No, yeah, my, I, all right, yeah. I, thank you for that perspective, because again, too, I was just, I was, I just want to understand what that really means, because a lot of people speak on it, but not, not anybody questions what does that really mean right you see what i'm saying right. we say it all the time it sounds like a bunch of word salad i think we could collectively elevate our consciousness okay you know what I'm saying? Okay. but you know that's just me being a fucking woo, fucking crazy a space yacht we gotta get to yeah, your space, yacht you know, first. space yachts and shit yeah you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. that's just me believing in all good you know so we can probably go back and become philosophers, philosophers. hey man it would give us so much time I would. It would give us a lot of time. I don't know about Imagine that. if everyone had time to think. No one would be dumb. <laughs> right? Or have a short attention span. No one would be dumb. Like, people would just understand. We could understand each other more. Because mm-hmm. we have time now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could hang out with you and see you three months later because we got time now. Yeah. We're going to be living longer. Because you're liter- you're literally going to explore something new or figure out something new because you're thinking. Instead of actually working. Not saying that all ideas will be great ideas. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, at least we get to think. Hey, man, as long as black people can. Uh, the Buddha can. The Buddha can. In the Renaissance, I'll, I'll, I'll go back there. But if I'm uh, just going to be a slave, there ain't no point. <laughs> I'm just what? saying. And, and what Renaissance? You know what? Never mind. Yep. <laughs> Right, because there were slaves during the Renaissance. Wasn't no one thinking about yep. it. I'm like, hey, I know, right? Everyone yep. thought about something, but <laughs> they yep. didn't think about, hey, why not? Well, because even in um, when I was watching, um, when I was watching the Game of Thrones series, even in that, even in even though if the predominant race was black, they still had a different race right. of slaves. Ah, uh. yes. So it didn't matter. Oh right, right, right. Well, slavery was just rampant. Like rampant, it didn't even yes. matter, it didn't matter race. what right, right, race you right, right. were. No, no, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, right, that, right. that that's kind of what I'm trying to clarify. Right, right, right. As long no, 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 no. Humans just love enslaving things. Yes, yes. that's it. That's Feed just, me my grave. Like what? You know, but we use special words for other. You know, domesticate. You yes, know? yes. Uh, yeah. um, that's uh, the correct term. Train. You know. Yes. Um, uh, you know, house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like shit like that. 
We don't say it's there. Like, prime example, we're okay. training the robots mm -hmm. to work for us. Exactly. Just Slaves. like Slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you would train. Go to the garage. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty sus the way I grabbed that mic. <laughs> we might have to We might have to cut the live right here. No, we ain't cutting it. Oh, that's tough. Vic is gonna clip this. Oh no. <laughs> See. <laughs> He, that's what I was hoping you, you didn't you, say. You shouldn't have done it live. You gave him the green light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gave him the green light. Oh, man. Frame. Domesticating black men laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I'm dead. It's not dog killing me. No, I'm oh, dead. She killing me, man. You feel me? So uh, no, I got like, you, man. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, I would have slaves. Of course, Vic. Of course. <laughs> you what? what the hell? Robot slaves. We already know. Robot slaves. Nah, he don't want robot slaves. He wants real slaves. No, you can't do that. You know how he is, Jeff. That's terrible. Yeah, man. It's always talk about terrible stuff. Okay, what happens if the slaves don't want to be slaves? Allegedly. You know, like, a slave could just, like, fight back, right? On the live view. Right. And then if you kill the slave, what's the point of having the slave? You exactly. kill it. Vinland Saga. You see what I'm saying? Like, it defeats the purpose of having a slave. It does. You know? I'm not saying, like, see, I'm not advocating for slavery. I'm just describing. Don't be you. advocating for slavery, Joe. No, absolutely not. I denounce it. All forms. Yes. Except for robot. Except for robot slavery. I can't so wait. So what if, What about Detroit becoming human? I can't wait. I can't wait to whip my robot. This is going to be fire. Allegedly. Go to the garage. Fix my car. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. What the fuck? With how they pop it. <laughs> I'm not convinced Vic doesn't already have a slave. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Oh, man. Oh shit. He probably does. He just doesn't tell us. I'm dead. I'm dead as hell. I'm dead as hell. Yeah. So that that's kind of where I wanted to get with it. But thank you for your perspective. I understand. Um progress is gonna continue going forward. I'm not denouncing it. I just wanted to understand for regular jobs, mundane jobs, jobs that can be re uh replaced as soon as robot robots gain the ability to move um like humans and and perform tasks that no longer is needed by humans what a, how what are we going to do next what is is what i'm saying and and again from re the chat they're basically saying um have more time to think have more time to do what we wanted to do time with friends all that stuff like that because we're we've been programmed for millennia to just work mm -hmm. Work, make money, die. Work, make money, die. Mm -hmm. And it's like only the few percent are the ones that actually get to enjoy their lives and do whatever they want. But it's like I, I get what you're saying when it when it comes to that. So you play the robot, haha, -ha, with how they pump. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That was that's kind of my thing. I mean, uh, I yep. So I didn't know the direction this conversation was going, but it was like, um, kid that the kid at work told me about the whole tiktok thing and i'm like i well i don't care about it it's not mm -hmm. something that because again i told him my mindset but then again that's when the follow-up question came to well if they did take that away like it would have been a struggle but again like you said it's going to be easier for them because they grew up in that they grew up in that that's yes. their so, reality so, yes like, so they understand right. they understand how it works and what it is and what is next after that that's like the boomer talking about oh you didn't grow up during the 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 world war the world war or the what was the other one the cold war mm -hmm. and stuff like that you grew up in the 90s motherfuckers was watching sesame street riding their bikes down the street yeah. and they're like you're soft you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like do you want me to suffer like mm -hmm. i don't understand like i don't understand like i i yeah it's like that that this uh, is weird thing where it's like i suffered so it has to be as bad for you for you no, when you it, suffered it, it, so my life can be, be better. easier, right? Yes, and then yeah. the person that you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, it, no, I get that, and 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 that's the funny thing because it's like when they created the that whole uh, TikTok meme where the guy hit his uh, knee on the car, 
the the 80s guy the guy from the that was born in the 80s hit his knee in the car nothing happened and the the 90s guy hit his knee in Snot, the car is you flaming <laughs> Snot, is you flaming if they take tiktok away one less place to upload triple t clips <laughs> would that bring world peace no uh, me <laughs> that's okay we have four more other platforms <laughs> Oh man, we have four more other platforms. Plus, you know what the crazy thing about? It? All right, so I'll bring this up real quick. So the crazy thing about TikTok is we have when Vic makes <laughs> when Vic makes our clips, we have to filter it so much because every little thing, every little thing that's offensive, they want to red flag us, block the the sound, block the volume, say it's bullying, all that stuff like that. Even when it's uh, even when it's towards us. They um they block us on that. So we try to post less on TikTok and more on Instagram, uh, Facebook. Um It's not like I say it's been a utopia on TikTok since y'all stopped uploading. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Uh shit, she flaming, bro. She flaming, she on fire. Dude. She on fire. That's I'm what's up. Kidding, no, kidding, but like I'm I said, kidding. I posted less on TikTok now because Every little thing I put on TikTok, they flag it, and it's like, right. and it's like, it well, yeah, and it's like once you, once you, um, once you get three strikes, you're out. Uh, Snot says, I was wondering why there's so many effects added on some. Uh, and then Smoke says, this generation is soft. Vic, ain't you this generation, bro? Vic, aren't you part of the generation? What do you mean? Say you ain't wrong. This generation needs to feel my pain. <laughs> Vic and the army are coming up. They're gonna make this generation feel their pain. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but like, like I said, that's that's the reason why I post less on tic- on TikTok is because there's there's just too many rules and regulations. Like they, right? It's just a, it's like a hassle. The, yeah, it's a hassle. It's a so. Hassle. I try to post less on that because I know more people are on Instagram, um, Facebook, and all the other social medias that that um, I use, and then they're less re- restrictive to do uh, to do so on that. But um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get your perspective on that because um, just kind of went down a rabbit hole on on that because it's like people use that all the time, but what does it actually mean? So I just want right. to get your thought process right. on. I feel that. It's more of a slogan. It, it, exactly, right? exactly. Because you'll hear it all the time from all these rich billionaires that have done seminars and tell you to buy crypto and and buy stocks and stuff like that. But they don't. They probably don't really understand. But they probably have their own perspective on what it means for them, right? Compared to what it means for you and what it means for me. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I was at. I, I kind of wanted to pick your brain on that and see where you're going because, again. <clears throat> When everything is free, what do you do? Star Trek was a perfect example of showing you what you would do. You, they had more time to, to to learn knowledge. They had more time. And, and like Jimmy and Snot Dog was saying, like the Renaissance, they had more time to create and invent new things. How do you think space travel was invented by Scotty? Because he had more time to sit down and understand right. what, how to bend space time in right. order to do that and then... He and the teleportation device and all yeah, that stuff. moving teleportation. Yeah, so right. so it's like um. Oh, that's actually pretty really great. Yeah, yeah. Moving teleportation. Yes. Do you understand how crazy that is? Mm-hmm. Like teleporting even through like while they're going through warp or some shit like that. Yeah, because remember um, in the J.J. Abrams remake, Spock right. came back and said, "Stop trying to move you through. Stop trying to move everybody through space. You have move to move space with space with with space. Yes, right." And that's how, and then he wrote down the equation and he's like, yeah, I was going to figure that out, but he helped him figure it out faster. I feel that. So, um, no man. Yeah. That's, that, that's kind of all I got on that topic. So, uh, snot says TikTok is also a younger audience than Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, that's true. I would say Instagram is like, um, millennials. Facebook is more, of, uh, uh, y- late millennials. Did you say Instagram is millennials. Instagram. I feel like that's all millennial. Is it all millennial? Yeah, yeah millennial. Facebook and Instagram. That's all millennial. Oh, millennials. Okay. okay. I feel that. Because millennials are like 40 now, right? Yes. Older millennials? Yes. Yeah. The oldest millennial is now 40. Is now 40. Um, but the, yeah, but the, cra- the crazy thing is um, I've seen, I'm, I'm seeing how millennials and boomers are finding loopholes 
for TikTok. Like certain things you can you can say the algorithm can't pick it up and you can keep saying it. Like that that N word song. Smoke says anyone born two thousand to O two is the last of an elite and we shall <laughs> now be known as Jin Bad Badge. <laughs> You what? <laughs> I say this because they fed us clone meat. <laughs> what are you um, calling a bad bad? <laughs> bad bitch. <laughs> Maybe not bad bad. <laughs> Snop dog. <laughs> She's like, really? Really, nigga? Let me bad say, bitch. Clone meat is wild. I'm dead. <laughs> the clone meat crew. They're like, yep, you in the generation of clone meat. They, clone they almost perfect. It's almost perfected. Wait, isn't it already being produced and shit? Yep. It's, it already got FDA approval. Uh-huh. Now, it's, how much does it cost? Nothing. Mm. It's going to be cheap as shit. Hopefully. You know this is all going to be cheap as shit. It's going to be cheap as shit. The reason why it's going to be expensive in the beginning is because it's going to start off small. But once you scale and then once you scale up and then scale back on like naturally produced beef... So it's like the cows are the the animals are ahead of us. It's like what are what are the cows and the chickens gonna do now? Like chicken run? Is it are they gonna live in an island full of chickens and um and do chicken things? No, they're just gonna chicken. I don't know. Be wild. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> they they have no they have no they have autonomy now. They they don't have to be eaten anymore. Wait, they don't have a natural predator, do they? They right? don't. Well, besides chickens, you got foxes, foxes. and they, right, right. Yeah, but a, but a cow, you gonna leave them to the wolves and shit? Just like run free, cow. <laughs> like they don't <laughs> know how like, to. Bitch, I ain't going anywhere. You better. Like they don't know. Well, like you said, um, cows, unless they had um, offspring to drink their milk, their others would become swollen and get infected. They would just die because they're overly domesticated. Same thing with like horses and donkeys and shit. Because yeah. we're always like cleaning their hooves and you know giving them medication. I don't know. They're I don't know. What do you do with all those cows and chickens? Oh. Once you stop eating real meat, they start cowing. They'll be slaughtered and eaten. Jeff, cows are not found in the wild. Okay, I'm talking about like in terms of. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy. Okay, Jim. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. So, like, will they put a cap? So, like, to slowly, you know, cut back on actual cap. Like, is this something that we're going to make go extinct? Or will we just, like... It will become a delicacy to eat real yeah. cow meat. If you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking about what Jimmy said. <laughs> uh, it probably will. They'll probably, because, no, well, I mean, you because gotta, you a gotta cow understand. is, the, uh, the way I'm looking at it, a cow is a bovine, all right? Yeah. They are, the meat, their meat is already expensive. Even grass fed is more right, than regular right, right. hormone. Uh, I know, but there's cows. like a plethora of cow that exists. Like there are more yeah, especially actual in Texas. cow, especially in Texas, than, bro. Than, than fake meat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, how are you gonna? How do you? Unless they start building factories in like different you areas. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, well, I feel it. If they're trying to cut back on livestock and and, and all that shit to promote fake or lab grown meat, meat, yeah. What do you do with all those cows? That's a, that's a good question. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, do you just mass slaughter all the cows so they're extinct and then have a fire sale on their meat? Or what? Do you let them continue to produce? Do you sterilize an entire sector of cows? You see what I'm saying? Do you, like, what do you do? Um, you see what I'm saying? Like, what does the phase out look like? Again, it's just like, uh, you'll nothing and be happy. We'll just have to wait. Hey, Vic. You're seeming a lot of sus. You're saying a lot of sus stuff in the in the comments. Bro. Not said, talking about talking a lot about meat recently. Vic got something to say. Animal sanctuary. I got a half an acre. Animal I'll see, sanctuary. I'll see how much I can put on there. 
See how many cows I can. So you think they'd be like? They'll cut my grass. Like a, a relic, <laughs> like a relic of, like the way we. Unless they become like a uh, uh, a protected species, like they do other. The dairy cow. Yes. The basically. famed yes. ancient dairy cow. We should all be drinking almond milk anyway. No, I, I could I could see that, like putting cows in zoos and shit. Yep. Yep. They're gonna be like, look at this uh, specimen. It has human teeth. <laughs> Probably breed them less. I feel that. Yep. I feel yeah, that. because they're forced breeding them too. Yeah. You stop breeding them to match the demand, mm-hmm. and then you'll have like a certain amount of years of surplus slaughter. Or we can until have until you reach like. Or a, we can have them as pets. Yeah. I eat tacos, not meat sticks. I don't <laughs> know about beans. That's wild. <laughs> you what? Yo. 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 Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy that's crazy you got anything to say Jeff <laughs> holy crap <laughs> I swear to god these people are retarded <laughs> <laughs> oh my god have you not seen the new phenomenon of white ladies owning chickens and goats and shit no I haven't why is it like some end of the world type shit like Oh yeah. I love the tacos way too much. You could put fake meat in them for clone meat tacos. There you go. The Mick clone combo for yeah. 19 cents. It's like the whole what you want to call it? They're like, yeah, this pig will feed this village for yeah. the next 100 years. Yeah, Cat Williams said the best. This pig will feed this village. Don't forget Europeans don't eat American processed foods. <laughs> you what? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. He said. All right. So, Jimmy says, "Don't forget, Europeans don't eat American processed." That's food. true. That's how so come cows a lot. will still be around the world. That's true. That's um and yeah, I've learned, and that's why our our body tends to reject a lot of European foods is because it's all natural, and we're not used to that, which is why we always get sick and diarrhea and all that stuff like that. Right. But the, the only reason why I say that is because Sam traveled. And she said that happened to her. Because she's like, the, the American human body is not but used to But I feel to. like with cloned meat, with lab-grown meat. There's no hormones or anything like that. Right. Yes. They can't do any so of that So we would have shit. to go to Europe, take European meat, and then bring it back here and clone it. No, you could just do there that. There you go. That's how we do it. You're doing all that with extra steps. That's how we do it. Just, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Um, so snot dog says they're kind of like pets in a way to them, but when eggs got so expensive, white people bought chickens and they're kind of homesteading in the suburbs. I feel that they went from chickens to goats and some bitch got cows and pigs. You want, you want the, you want to tell them the secrets about eggs? What's the secret? You want to know the secrets about eggs? What's the secret about eggs? So I was talking to. I was talking to a, a chicken farmer, the ones that do eggs and stuff like that. You know, they do eggs. They deliver the eggs. They actually deliver eggs? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you mean like dairy delivery? No, no. Like a... No. A re- egg delivery? Egg delivery. Like a milkman? Yeah, they're separate. They're separate. There's a guy that just delivers eggs to our store. It doesn't come in the, the, the truck. Wait, you guys got a milkman? Yeah. MacArthur. He only, right, that is. He only delivers milk. That's the the final form of the milkman. Milk, Holy crap. Milk Arthur. No, that's crazy. Like, I think about it, right? Like, think about the milkman, right? Eggs are chickens, period. <laughs> Eggs are chickens. Yes, that's they are. Crazy. But that's not the secret I was going to say. That's crazy. So, you know how we have all these different types of eggs on the shelf? Yeah. Organic, pasteurized, mm-hmm. pasteurized. Uh, vitamin E, vitamin D, all that stuff like that. The farmer literally said, cage free. Mm. Farmer literally said, they're all the same eggs. There's no such thing as organic. There's no such thing as more vitamin D in the eggs. The only difference is the size and the color. Oof. Allegedly. And they taste delicious. And they taste delicious. Because you got to look at it this way. In the late 90s, there was just eggs. There was none of this extra craziness that they have. These different names. Pause. The- Real quick. Go for it. Jeff, you just made a bold claim. Uh, that's why I said allegedly. <laughs> okay. 
So if somebody clips this and says I'm wrong, I said allegedly. <laughs> That's <a good> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going based off of what they tell me. They say all the eggs are the same because even um even even when they say oh cage free, they're in a cage. It's no, just a bigger cage. It's just a bigger cage. It's a freer cage. <laughs> but it's not cage free because they're not. still because <laughs> they're still in the cage. So it doesn't make any sense. Or an organic. You can't get an organic egg. You can't make an egg organic. So he basically said, because they feed the chickens organic feed, their eggs are organic. What? <laughs> There's so many loopholes and bullshit. Exactly. You already know. Exactly. I so. come back. Uh... <laughs> the only difference in the size is, in the, is the, the size, size and the color. color. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Chill. Chill. Oh, yeah. Oh uh, man, yeah, yeah. So that's 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 what I leave us with off with. Uh, allegedly, uh-huh. all eggs are the same, so you're paying for nothing. What do you mean, take European meat? <laughs> <laughs> you what? Uh, Vic only eat that European meat, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> you like them French long john? Oh bro. man, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, any last words, sir, before we let the... Any last words? Any last words, chat? Before any last let, words, chat? Before we let you guys go. Before we start this vacay. Yeah. Wait, pause. That looks so wrong. That's tough. Vic, cut that out. Nope. What did, uh, what did uh, Daily... Uh, what did uh, um, Jimmy say? Jimmy said, Cage Free, LOL, what they playing Easter egg hunt every day. <laughs> They're probably like guys in organic family is probably like we're only we're we're only putting it on organic grass so you guys can find your organic eggs. Snot says I like when it's like, Oh yeah, the chickens were fed a vegan diet like <laughs> Okay. You what? like okay, Yeah, bro. but that's what I'm saying. Just because you feed them vegan or <laughs> It don't matter what the fuck you feed them. It doesn't them. matter what you feed them. It, the egg is not organic or filled with vitamin, whatever, because you feed them that. It's so dumb. It's just an egg. It's dumb. But don't tell America that allegedly. It's, a, it's allegedly. So you know what I'm saying? I have oh, to yeah. put that disclaimer so uh, YouTube doesn't say I'm a- <laughs> Jimmy has never heard of a bird's nest. <laughs> Oh shit! You're gonna make you me drop what? my cup. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, hey y'all, we got. <laughs> it's that time. It's that time. Oh uh, shit! You guys are awesome, man. It's I that appreciate time. you guys. Nah, for showing I showed out today. Real shit. What's up, Bruce? Thank you, chat. Yeah. That was fire today. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been lied to our whole lives. Yep. No, nah, that's facts. Hell no. But that's, yeah, that's what the farmer farmer says. All the eggs are the same. They just separate the chickens. The egg conspiracy. <laughs> Hold on. Egg. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, even Bruce knows it's yep, that time. Bruce is like, it's that time. Don't you jump on that chair. There's wires right here, buddy. All right, guys. If he does this, just throw him out the window. Oh, I'm live? No, you trying to get me arrested? You're not going to jail. We just clip that out. Viral. We'll just be like it's it's a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like how you wrestle a bear? Yeah, it's okay. a de- right. It's a deep fake. It's fake. All right, that makes sense. That's fake. All right, Jeff, take it home, take guys. It. Thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes, and of course we have timestamps, so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course leave us a comment. Again, guys... Thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into. Oof. Oof. You have a good night, Oof. weekend, evening, <laughs> and day. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, Jeff. I done fucked that up. <laughs> good night, Jeffs. Are you serious? All right, all right, all right. Before we sign off, before we sign off, Vic, I'll read your comment, bro. 
I'll never forget when I was at 740, this crackhead came to me in the store and took two jumbo eggs out the carton and tucked them under his sack. Bro looked like customer service manager. Looked at the customer service manager and said, I got protein. (laughs) (laughs) I'm dead, dog. Infinite tabletop loop. (laughs) Oh, man, right? All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Yeah, take it easy, guys. (laughs) Have a good night.